want to ask you something. I see you're checking out videos on YouTube to raise your vibration, fine tune your attraction, but what if there are three myths preventing you from creating the life of your dreams? And one of them is the very act of watching these videos again and again and again. Fair question? Well, I started this video here at the beach to make a point. Because not long ago, I was homeless, suicidal, and stuck. I spent over 30 years working on myself, trying to create the life of my dreams, watching videos on YouTube, trying to raise my vibration and step into the life of my dreams. And my life got worse and worse and worse. Well, I'd like to share the three biggest myths in the whole world of personal development, self-help, and the law of attraction. And in a way, that's very likely going to completely blow your mind, but more importantly, it's going to set you free to step into the life of your dreams. So now let me get back to my studio where it's a lot quieter, away from these noisy, beautiful waves, and I'm going to share the three biggest myths that I promise are holding you back right now. So let's get to those myths. You can change your point of attraction by just focusing on raising your vibration. This isn't true. And I believed it for years. Let me tell you why it isn't true. I'll use your own experience as an example. Stuff's going on in life. And you go over to YouTube and you look up an Abraham video, a law of attraction video, happy kitten videos to raise your vibration. And you feel better for a few minutes. And in the back of your mind, you know that you're not dealing with the issue inside of yourself that's creating the circumstances you don't want in the first place. So while you're here raising your vibration, secretly in the back of your mind, you know, I'm not actually dealing with the cause. I'm not actually focusing on the cause, but I don't want to be negative. And that alone is enough to keep you stuck. But every minute that you're doing it again and again and again, creating more doubt in yourself and another minute of avoiding the actual issue. Now there's more, but if you decide to go further with me later, I can give you more on that one. The second myth, you attract what you get into your life. I know this is a convincing myth. And again, I believed it for over 15 years myself, but you don't attract what comes into your life. One of the fundamental teachings related to the law of attraction is that all is one and everything that exists is one infinite energy can't have both. You can't have all is one and then that one attracts another one. No, we don't attract anything. There's nothing else to attract. We reflect on the screen of what we call the universe, everything that we think and believe that we know, along with the emotions that we're trying not to feel. And it endlessly shows up in our lives as event after event after event. And that's why those things keep coming, no matter how, how much we try to raise our vibration. And myth number three, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. The idea that affirmations alone are enough to help us pull what we want into our lives. I am here to tell you that affirmations are one of the weakest tools that we can use. And they don't work often. They're very slow, and when they do work, it's usually actually counterproductive, and I want to tell you why. Just imagine for a moment that your bank account is not where you want it to be, and you go into any variation of, I am wealthy, I have millions of dollars, money, money comes to me effortlessly and easily, while you know that you're lying to yourself. You're making these statements that are in direct opposition to everything you feel and believe inside. It puts you in opposition to yourself. So you might be wondering, if affirmations suck that bad, then what actually would work? What could bring about that focusing of the energy of the universe to actually bring about what it is that we want? Well, the most powerful tool that I and my clients have ever used, I call quantum questions. And I'm going to give you the full scoop on that in just one minute.
My name is Brian D. Ridgeway. My friends and my clients call me the Spellbreaker. I'm a number one international best-selling author, speaker, and mentor to thousands of amazing people around the world. Since 2011, when I started my business, I've been able to touch and help over 120,000 people in 84 countries to begin to dissolve their self-help addiction, to dissolve these myths, and actually step into transforming their lives. One of the tools that I share with my clients and with my audiences around the world is what I call quantum questions. In my estimation and in my experience, quantum questions are at least 10,000 times more powerful than affirmations, and they don't put you in opposition to yourself. And if you decide to take me up on the invitation I'm about to give, I'm going to give you my entire system for creating, understanding, formulating, and using quantum questions absolutely free. I've created a free Facebook group called Unconditional Happiness. We can talk about the reason for that later. And in this group, I share videos, audios, processes, and transformational tools to help you dissolve the pain, dissolve the past. Forget about trying to be positive and trying to not be negative. Forget about trying to raise your vibration and literally dissolve everything that was holding you back within yourself so that you can begin to consciously create the body, health, business, wealth, relationships, life, and world of your dreams in a way that works. I'd like to invite you to join this free group. And if you do, I'm going to give you my entire training on quantum questions. I'm also going to give you my number one international best-selling book, Break Your Self-Help Addiction, and the second most powerful tool that I have ever created in 39 years of research and development. It's one of my clients' favorite tools and it's called the Breath of Light process that will literally take you within a few minutes into the experience of oneness, tapping into the part of you that is everything that is. All of these tools and a lot more are yours free when you join this amazing group of conscious creating people from around the world who have joined Unconditional Happiness. To join us, click the link below this video and I'll see you in the group in just a moment.